Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've posted. I've just been busy <clears throat> with work. But uh, today we... I want to fix the... I don't know if you guys saw the video where I installed the rear lift or rear seat lift kit. It allows me to fold the bench seats down or fold them up and then also fold the backs down. But after I installed it, went to go fold it down, I realized there was a like a ground cable attached to the seats that was stopping it. So I basically need to take the seats back out and extend that cable. Um, let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. If you see back there, that <clears throat> black cable right here attaches to the bottom of the seat and the back of the seat and it's too short. So we basically need to take the seats back out and extend that <coughs> cable just a bit. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to show you guys uh, well, I'll just show you this. So those are my old headlights. If you guys remember back in December, I tore those things apart and put new halos in them, new, um, a new projector, new halos. Um, Tempted to put the demon eye in there, but it didn't really work out that well. Well, um, I just didn't like the way they turned out. They work, but the halos sometimes are different colors. They're supposed to stay white by default unless you change them. Well, that doesn't happen. Sometimes they're orange, sometimes they're yellow. Sometimes one or two are white and the other ones are orange and yellow. So it just looks crappy. So I decided to go ahead and uh, replace the whole headlights and I will reveal those a little bit later. But let's get started on getting this seat out of here so we can see what we need to do to extend this ground cable. The other thing is this cable doesn't just like come up after you take the screw out. It's like attached. So I'm gonna have to get like a pry bar and pry that son of a bitch off. The other fun thing is uh I don't know if you can see that. It screws right here and back here and attaches the two seats together, so Gotta undo those as well.
those screws out. I just need to get these little ones out. Now we can pull this first seat out. are out. take this screw out and this thing should come out. It just seems like the stupidest thing I've ever seen, honestly. This thing's on here like all wobbly. I don't know how that could really ground. I guess it's metal, so... Alright, well, 
I'm gonna see if I can pry that off. I'm not gonna film it just because who knows how long it's gonna take, but I will uh, catch back up with you and let you guys know how I got it off. All right, so I decided, see the bottom there? There's a metal piece that holds this in. It's really hard to get it out. And so I just decided to cut the wire in the middle and then I just soldered in an extended piece and then heat shrinked it. same thing cut it in the middle added a piece of cable and soldered it and heat shrink or heat wrap whatever you want to call it heat shrink so now I should have plenty of wire to fold these seats down so I'm going to install these seats I mean it's not a whole lot to see it's just putting them back in and putting some bolts in so I'm going to bolt it all down and then I'll just show you guys the finished product. Alright guys, so we got the seats put back in. I'm going to show you guys. Seats are back in, so now we lift that part. Now they fold down completely. See there, I extended the wire right there. And then pull them back up. Pull the bottom piece down. Still, the back still locks in place. Do the same with this one. Back down. Hold the whole thing up. So yeah, we uh, got that fixed. Wasn't that hard? Pain in the ass just to pull the seats back out, but. I wish I would have caught it before. So if any of you guys are gonna install that lift, um, the lift for the rear seats, make sure you either cut that cable and extend it or replace it with a longer one or remove it all together. After I already did one and I was on the second one, I started thinking, I don't think those are gonna do anything anyways because the brackets, little metal brackets that the seats sit on now, those are powder coated. So I don't think the uh, grounding is going to hurt. Nothing's going to travel through that because you have to scr like scratch the paint off of it to properly ground it, I think. But either way, I already had one done and the other one was halfway done before I thought about that. So just a tip for you guys. If you're going to do the same thing, make sure you take care of that so you don't have to take the seats out twice like I did. And then uh, I want to show you guys the uh, headlights.
these things are way nicer. Um, I pulled out, I mean, this is all the wiring I had for these. I had projector or HIDs in the high beams and low beams, plus the halos. So there was just a ton of wiring. And in order to make the uh, LED blinker lights work, I had to uh, put little resistors in line on the blinker lights on both sides, actually all four corners, because I have LEDs in the back. Um, so basically, this, let's see, I'm get one of these. This was my wiring harness, or my stock wiring harness. So this plug right here um, was plugged into the factory wiring. And then I had my, uh, like, these right here were the, what were those? I think these were the blinker lights. And then this, these ones plugged into the HID set. I had to wire these in. Nice thing about these, I thought I was going to have to cut all this, uh, these resistors out and stuff when I put these Morimoto's on. Nice thing about those, you just unhook your factory clip right here with the blinker wires and all that stuff, and it just clips right into the back of that housing. There's no wiring whatsoever. Simple as just plugging that in and installing the lights. So. That was uh, extremely easy to install. That's kind of why I didn't film it. I opened the box to see how hard it was going to be. And once I saw it was just a plug-in, I was like, there's really nothing to film. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, I'm going to, oh, well, before I wrap it up, I'll show you guys one more thing. some people asking me about uh, this waterproof box in here in the engine bay. This is, I'll show you guys really quick. So this is my ride controller. It's my ride controller pro. And basically what that does is the cube lights, the uh, light bar, um, I have wheel rings or wheel lights, uh, the rock lights, got some lights in the bed. I also have some cubes on my rear bumper. All those lights are hooked up to that controller and it allows me to use the app on my phone to turn them all on, off, uh, you can strobe them, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with them. It also, like say I decided I wanted to put switches in my truck, I uh, purchased a separate switch uh, piece, I don't remember what they call it, but that taps into this and then uh, you can add um, switches into the truck. Um, I want, I bought the piece because I wanted to put switches somewhere, but I just, there's, there's really no room to put them anywhere. Um, and I don't want it to look crappy or like it's not supposed to be there. I kind of like everything to look as factory as possible, at least on the inside. Um, or at least as far as switches go. So yeah, that's what that is. Um, I may be... Well, most likely I'm going to be relocating this from the engine bay into the back of my, or into the cab. So um, we're going to have to run a wire from here. I have a wire that has, it's like a big wire that's got like 10 little wires in it or something. I'm going to use that to tap into all these wires that I have already put in here and bring that thing in the inside so I can eventually add a second battery right here. 
the one battery is just not enough. I mean, if I sit in my car for 30 seconds with the key in the run position and the truck not started, it goes low battery. I just got too much stuff hooked up. Plus, it's extra insurance in case something happens and one of my batteries dies. I'm not stranded. I could always uh, flip over to the other one. Or I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to wire it yet. Um, so, anyways, that's going to be coming up. I'm probably going to make a video on that. Um, but yeah, if you guys, uh, like the content and, uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future content and give the video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.